Right now, Vice President Kamala Harris is on a flight heading to Minnesota after visiting Atlanta this afternoon. She and the president are both crisscrossing the country, working to highlight the Biden-Harris administration's agenda when it comes to the economy, clean energy, and health care access. Yeah, Bo Beth Yates is live at Georgia Tech, where VP Harris spoke. That's right. Vice President Kamala Harris joins the distinguished list of dignitaries to visit Georgia Tech. Her focus today was on climate change and addressing the role Georgia and Atlanta plays in that. Now, during her visit, Vice President Harris participated in a moderated conversation focused on the administration's investments and the actions to combat climate crisis and the role ahead. She addressed concerns like drought, alternative forms of energy, and even clean water. Take a listen. Access to clean water should be a right and not just a privilege of those who can afford it. Right? And, and that's everything from getting rid of lead in pipes, which is a big area of focus for our administration. Our goal with the infrastructure money is to get rid of all lead pipes and service lines within the next nine years. You look at Flint, Michigan, and you look at so many other places that have suffered. Now coming up at six, we have more on what Vice President Harris says the administration is doing to solve climate change. Sending it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you so much for that report, though, Beth. Now, the Republican National Committee is responding tonight to the VP's visit. In a statement, the committee said in part, instead of spewing more of the same empty rhetoric that Biden delivered last night, Democrats need to take accountability for their failures on everything from rising prices to skyrocketing crime, saying it's what the American people deserve. And there is more to the response to the Biden administration, including new reaction from both sides of the aisle to the president's State of the Union address. NBC's Alice Barr is standing by for us at the White House. We'll be checking in with her coming up at 530.